I bet you weren't taught the shape of this ion. So SF5 minus, to figure out the shape, we'll use my electron counting method. So the sulfur, which is our central atom, is in group six, so six electrons on its outer shell. Then we have five fluorines coming in, each contributing one electron each. So we end up with five. Now, because of this minus sign, that means an extra electron has come in from somewhere else. So I'm going to now add that one electron. That tells us the total number of electrons around that central sulfur. So to find the electron pairs, we divide that by two, and that gives us six electron pairs. Not all of these are involved in the bonding. There are only five fluorines, which means that five are bonding pairs, and then one is a lone pair. So now what's the shape? Whenever we're dealing with six electron pairs total, we're thinking of our octahedron, so our octahedral shape. So our sulfur in the middle, one up, one down, and then four around the middle. Okay, but one of these is a lone pair, and the one that we're going to choose is this one down at the bottom. So what is the shape of this molecule? Well, a square base or pointing up to the top, it is, of course, a square based pyramid. Okay, and not to forget the square brackets and the sign. How did you do? Follow me for more chemistry content like this.